Good evening. I'm Lori Porter, and I serve at the pleasure of more than 26,000 CNAs and assisted living caregivers who are members of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Today, I'm asking each CNA and caregiver to remember why we started, why we are special, and what it is that makes us special. It is not because we do a job other people cannot do. It is because we do a job other people will not do. However, we cannot continue to cry out demanding recognition and respect if we are not going to recognize and respect our profession and its power. The power of our influence as CNAs, the power we have together in NACA, over 100,000 nursing home residents have died. They don't go out and get COVID-19. As the largest group of employees on the front line, we CNAs must realize that we are also the largest spreaders. Nursing homes and assisted living residents make up only 5.7% of the nation's COVID cases but 40% of all COVID deaths. No, COVID doesn't discriminate, but it wreaks havoc on our elders. We must take every precaution to protect ourselves and those in our care when at work and at play. We are certified to protect our residents, patients, and clients. In this pandemic, we play the lead role I have done more press interviews in the last 10 months, as have many of our board and general members, than we have in NACA's 25-year history combined. As for the vaccine, we have a saying here at NACA, I'm going to mask up, buck up, and I'm going to roll up my sleeve for the vaccine as soon as we qualify. And I hope you will do the same. We have served here at NACA for 26 years to protect you, provide you credible truth, and to give you a voice. I have listened to those who are reluctant regarding the vaccine. We here at NACA have gone above and beyond to ensure our members can be confident in this vaccine. As it continues to roll out, we are seeing more and more people report all of the facts, good or bad. Our very own board chair, Lisa Shepard, has been vaccinated and is providing daily videos of her experience, any side effects, and a firsthand report. Thus far, she has no hesitancy in taking her second dose in January. I've said many times as this year is winding down, this is one we will never forget. No one will remember it more than you on the front line. I've never been prouder of CNAs and more heartbroken for them at the same time. I thank you for your service. Let's never let it be in vain. Let's continue to work together to be the best we can be and to never let our voices go unheard. As we turn the calendar to 2021, I hope each of you will proudly keep caring and keep sharing your amazing talents on the front line. And lastly, I hope each of you have the best holiday season possible. You certainly deserve it.